All right, I have consulted with my uh, memories of previous exorcisms, and uh, this holy water should be banishing these spirits. I imagine what was happening before when I was being chased by the one from the morgue is that he just managed to step over it as he was running past me several times. Uh, very sure-footed spirit indeed, but uh, I think if I get them to run through it, run around it and through it a few more times, it should be able to um, uh, get them to actually tread in it and thus be banished. That would be quite helpful. Sir, would you mind coming this way, please? Thank you. That's right. Here, yeah, step here. There we go. There we go indeed. Uh, and one of the five is now at rest. So we have a second one here. And uh, I can repeat the procedure with him. Sir, I have uh, something to show you here. Come this way. Right this way, please, sir. Into the chapel. No? In here. There we are. Yeah, so it's, uh... I guess it must be their boots are, uh, slowing the uh, effect of the holy water. Well, that's two of the five spirits now at rest. Well as much as rest as we can expect uh, such things to be. Very good. So it means two things. One, I can go back and test my uh, hypothesis about the tape recorder using batteries that I need. It probably doesn't. But I can, I can uh, see it. If, try and find out. No, that's just rewinding it. Okay. And uh, it wasn't like there were any batteries stored in here or anything, was there? Pills, bottles, and the batteries. Very well. What's that? Oh, just another trolley. So we have that. So now I can uh, actually come here and investigate here without risking being slaughtered unexpectedly. It's always never fun when that happens. Uh, you would you would be surprised how often uh, that happens to paranormal investigators. It must be a uh, one of the risks of the job, which is why usually I try to you know just stay with poltergeists and uh, passive hauntings. Oh, we have a crowbar. That might very well come in handy. And we can uh, access the piles of ash. What do we have here? Something here in the corner? I don't know, we have a shovel. All right. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I can't pick it up. Alright, so now we have a shovel and the crowbar. So, with the crowbar I should be able to open all sorts of things. With the shovel I will be able to, hopefully, dig some holes in the cemetery. I'm seeing a sort of ledge up there, but uh, no possible way of getting up there that I can discern. Bit too high. Very well. Uh, I don't think I can open any of these coffins. There's probably no point. Odd place to store them as well. What am I going to do with the crowbar? Haven't found anything that needs a crowbar. Maybe, perhaps the crowbar will uh, let me break that padlock that I uh, found on the roof. Let's just try going back to the roof. Through 
Get rid of the loft. Past all these uh, rather, uh, what's the word? Inquisitive. Uh, I'll just make a dummy that uh, want to see what's going on. Right, so it was in here. Oop, careful now, don't fall off. It was in here. She still looks very unimpressed by uh, everything that's happening. I'm going to try this. It's, uh, I hope I don't fall off the ladder. It's a little uh, awkward. Yes, broken the padlock. Alright, so here we are in the attic. And over there, I see another spirit. He's not facing us just now. That's good. Is this the one that took closed the attic door in front of me before. Um, hmm. I don't know the way out of the attic yet. So better be careful not to wake him up. Uh, there's a higher part of the attic. That's, that's probably not where I need to go just yet. Chest there, chest I can't open. We have a model of the whole manor. That's interesting. Alright, well let me uh, see if I can't quietly walk around him and find the stairs down. If my memory's right, it should be over this way. I prefer not to, you know, risk death on his hands either. Uh, yeah, that would be the stairs down over there, I think. <laughs> he sounds suspicious. Not yet actively hostile. Good, that's good. Now uh, that is not stairs. I can certainly get down there, at least a fireplace, but uh, it will not get me out of the attic. Wait, um, let's check the map. Where was the stairs of the attic? Here. Yeah, hmm. I can try going to the fireplace. Question is, can I get back up again? I don't know. Oh, hello. <coughs> Ouch. Uh, we are in the kitchen. Just the kitchen, right? Where's my uh, first aid kit? Oh, no, let's eat the food. Bread and cheese. Maybe that will. Uh, Help with my twisted ankle there. Yes, yeah, just a little. Alright. Don't have the key to the kitchen, I don't think. Can't see a thing. Oh, that's much better. Have uh, matches? No, not really of use. Dirty dishes, old bottles. A. Bless this house, cross stitch. Oh, what do we have here? Fountain drain control. Ooh. I suppose that must have opened the drain in the fountain. Uh, well, that's not going to help me a lot. If I can't get out this door, where's my hairpin? Nope, crowbar. Nope. Mm hmm. What about this one? Nope. Nope. I'm gonna need a key. Or I'm gonna have to clamber back up the chimney. Clambering back up the chimney is certainly a possibility. What, what do we have here? No, that's not a key, that's a wooden spoon. Right, well, uh, I have uh, just the fountain drain, but that's not helping me 
<laughs> Great deal. The moment. Can I get back out? I can't. There must be a key in here. Where is it? Why can't I find the key? Ah. Because it's there. Perfect. Uh, Alright, so I can't get to the attic, and I don't know if I can... I don't have the attic key yet, so I don't know if I actually can leave the attic by the stairs. I should go back and try that again. Come back to the kitchen shortly. Uh, uh, but let's resume my uh, investigations in the attic. Where's my first aid kit? I need another. But, uh, twisted angle, definitely. <laughs> It's taking its toll. I need more painkillers. Um, loft. Yeah. Okay. There's another spirit up there in the attic. So, ideally, I can find my way to the stairs. I can open the door. That, uh, is on the stairs, make sure the way's clear, then get that spirit to uh, chase me back to the chapel and I can put it to rest as well. We may be able to uh, help with these five unfortunates sooner than I uh, expected. So where did I come in? I came in here. Uh, excuse me, sir, while well, I figure this out. Here, on this side of the house, so the stairs must be on this side. No? According to the map, right here is the, uh, this closet that I, where I entered. On this other house, if we cross laterally, we should find the stairs. Uh, but I'm not seeing the stairs here. I'm a little confused. I mean, we even have a model here, so I can uh, demonstrate. We climbed in. Hmm, actually. Wait, 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 wait. I climbed in, we went over the roof of the, uh, whatever that room is. Climbed in a window that's really not shown here. And the stairs, oh wait, the stairs, the stairs are up here. Oh, I'm quite confused. Quite confused indeed. That's, maybe this model is not accurate. I would explain it. Chair. There's no stairs there, are there? Sack. That's a window. With curtains. I can go to the upper floor. I don't think I should yet. No, so I didn't explore on this side of our uh, noisy friend here. Oh no, you're another stairs. Okay. Perfect. And uh, they're not lined with skulls. Why did I ever think they were lined with skulls? What do they have here? A battery. What do you know? I can unbolt the door. We should have a clear run to the chapel now. So before I uh, search the rest of the attic, let's let's get our fine friend here to his eternal rest. He deserves it. Come on, sir. This way, if you please. Down the stairs. And, uh, oh, what's the, what's the quickest way to the chapel here? 
I'm all turned about. I'm all turned about. Where was the chapel? Uh, that's the kitchen, so the chapel must be even there. Of course, we go through the uh, we go through the crystal ballroom. Yes, yes. Perfect. It's not long now, not far now, sir. Here we are. Excellent. Wouldn't mind just stepping in this puddle. There we are. Now you two can rest. Three down, two to go. Excellent work. Uh, are these the only uh, spirits that are haunting the place? If these are the only spirits that we have to contend with here, then uh, this might be a lot easier than uh, I was expecting. But perhaps there are more. However, this uh, lower attic is now clear. I can uh, do a quick survey. Oh, we have uh, what are these? Odd, sort of human-shaped figures. They almost look like closed Iron Maidens, but they're just the uh, odd statuey things. Uh, more trunks. There's a lot of trunks. What do we have here? Another newspaper. Saturnine Mansion ablaze. Oh, it's a bunch of mansions burnt down a long time ago. Not relevant, I think, for us. Right, but we got a battery. So with a battery, I can go back to uh, Caitlin's bedroom, which is this way, and find her UV light. I wonder if her wandering doll has uh, gone back. It's not in the hallway there. Find her UV light, and uh, no, the wandering doll is not back. So. Still exploring the house, I guess. And, uh, whoops. We will be able to follow Caitlin's treasure hunt. If there's one thing uh, that is clear, it's arrows, I guess. If one thing is clear, oh, that's a nice story trip. Can I? I can. It, uh, you can see that horse looks like it's running. That's a lovely optical illusion. Um, oh, this house is scary. I don't like it, she wrote on her painting. Ah, huh, did she write anything on this drawing? No. So, I'm sure the treasure hunt has something to do with uh, why she's scared and something to do with, uh, I suppose, all the hauntings. Ah, that's, that's what I'm missing. We've got uh, arrows she wrote on the floor. Uh, do you know how much it's gonna cost to get this carpet dry clean to get these ultraviolet stains out? Oh, never mind. Let's follow, follow these arrows and see where Caitlin wanted her granddad to um, to go. Wait, her granddad? Is her granddad in the house? It's her father that uh, hired us here. Oh well, never mind. Definitely leading us on a uh, right little maze here. I wonder if this takes us all the way up to the attic. That takes us upstairs again. She's she's written on she's painted on all the carpets. Oh dear, oh dear. 
I mean, the treasure hunt is a lovely idea, but uh, uh, yes, up to the attic indeed. It's very fortunate that I've just cleared it. We should be able to do our searching undisturbed here. Let's trail. Here we are. Hope this battery lasts. It would be uh, rather unfortunate if it was to suddenly cut out. Oh, hello. There is uh, something behind. Oh. Well, we have a wine cellar key and a creepy doll's head. And some buttons, a belt buckle, seashell, luggage tag, photograph, a thimble, a flower, and a book. What does the book say? Uh, well, she's drawn pictures in it. It is... Uh, Is that her granddad with a purple UV light? Going to a door. Meeting a thief. Meeting several thieves. Oh, maybe it's a potion. Oh, it's a bottle of poison. It's giving them poison in exchange for money. They shake hands on the deal. Who is this gentleman? Don't know. Well, all right, I think I can turn off my uh, UV lamp now. Save the battery. Interesting. We can go to the wine cellar. I have the key to the wine cellar. So obviously her, uh, oh, oh, that's where I came in. Obviously, she hid something in the wine cellar for the granddad to find. I wonder if there is another spirit haunting the wine cellar. Wouldn't surprise me. They get everywhere, they do. Okay. Well, the wine cellar's close. It's uh, just down here where we, anyway, we started. So we should finally be able to see. Uh, hopefully this is the destination for this uh, treasure hunt. What do you know? Another passage. Odd uh, mechanical buzzing. Oh, oh dear. I wonder what happened here. Uh, that is the cane and the hat. That looks very much like... Is that her granddad? I hope not. Uh, cemetery key, some flowers, and a couple of notes and a bottle. Hmm. I've been contacted by a local gang who are, apparently, wanted men. They must have heard that I work at the mortuary, as they approached me in a pub in Lampfire Hills with a proposition. To escape their increasingly likely capture, they plan to fake their own suicides by poisoning. They asked me if, as the local mortician's assistant, I would be able to somehow convince the authorities that the gang were indeed dead, and then facilitate their escape from the morgue as free men. This requires some thought. They would need to have a perfectly convincing appearance of death, as, firstly, the local constabulary are unfortunately not entirely stupid. And secondly, I don't think I could convince Lizanne to aid me in criminal activity, no matter how lucrative this arrangement proves to be. I shall visit the library and begin my research. Time is already running out for my potential clients. I have made a rather interesting discovery in an old book on the use of herbaceous plants in medicine. It seems that a carefully balanced combination of the paralyzing herb nightshade and the soporific herb Silent Sleep 
will render a person unconscious for as long as three days and nights, while giving the appearance of death. I may be able to use this to my advantage. I have continued to study the use of these drugs, and it seems ratio is vitally important. An imbalance could result in a particularly unpleasant death from atropine poisoning. Revival of the subject, however, should be comparatively straightforward, if also rather unpleasant. Pelocarpine should be employed for revival. Upon awakening, the subject will likely suffer painful convulsions, tachycardia, extreme disorientation, visual and audio distortions, hallucinations, and delirium. I need a test subject. It was exceedingly difficult and expensive to procure the ingredients I required for the poison and its antidote, made more difficult by the need for a certain level of discretion. I have made up a small amount of toxin from the flowers of the plant's nightshade and silent sleep. I can only hope that my estimated measurements are correct. Tonight, when I leave the mortuary, I will visit Lamphire Hills and find a vagrant or beggar willing to earn himself some coin in the name of medical research. I killed him. My god, what have I done? What a waste of herbs! I think I have it. I've been experimenting again, and I believe it is simply a matter of quantities. It is time to inform my clients that everything is prepared. The plan. 1. Meet clients for exchange of poison for payment. 2. Await call from police to attend the crime scene. 3. Bring bodies to Hollow Lane with Thomas who will hopefully remain blissfully unaware of anything out of the ordinary. 4. Wait until night. If necessary, kill Lizanne. 5. Retrieve antidote. Retrieve clients. Uh, we just got an objective ticked off. Find out what happened to trigger the hauntings. Uh, what's this note? I scroll... Client 54 successfully revived, 55 successfully revived, 56 successfully revived on the 12th, the 17th, and the 22nd. Uh, but there's five more who were not successfully revived. I guess uh, he fell down the stairs and died before he could revive them. Is that why they're haunting the place? Hmm. Client 54? 55, 56? That's, he's had a lot of clients before these group of thieves, unless unless there were uh, that many thieves here. That's an awful lot of thieves. Alright. Well, uh, before, I, before I leave the wine cellar, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I was going to say, I'll use the UV lamp to such a did uh, Caitlin herself come down here? Can I pick that up or is it just no, no, no flower uh, fluorescing in the UV light? Did Caitlin herself come down here? And is this the treasure hunt? Or was the treasure hunt happened before this? Well, I don't know, she was definitely uh, upset by The uh, presence of these spirits. The UV lamp does not seem to uncover anything new, and unfortunately, none of these barrels have been tapped, so I can't even uh, sneak myself a, a small sip of their fine wine. Alright, so there you were poisoned. And uh, unfortunately for me, I guess I have the responsibility now to uh, clean up the mess. At least I'm getting well paid for it. So, I think next I should um, go investigate the fountain since I found my way into the kitchen and was able to manipulate the uh, fountain drain out the back for a strange gazebo fountain. Uh, so that's what I'll do next. But that will be the next episode. I need a new cup of tea. Thanks for watching.